Hi everyone, my name is Miss Danielle and I'm so excited to be talking with you today. I work at a very special place called the Dixon Gallery and Gardens. The Dixon Gallery is an art museum. What kind of things do you think you'd find in an art museum? You find art at the art museum. We have paintings, drawings, sculptures and statues, all kinds of beautiful things for you to see. And when you walk outside of the building at the Dixon, we also have lots of beautiful plants and flowers in our garden. So it is a very special place to visit and it's right here in Memphis where you live. So today we are going to be looking at some of the artwork from the Dixon Gallery and Garden. The artwork that we're looking at today is something called abstract art. Can you say that for me? Abstract art. Abstract art is a type of artwork where the picture doesn't really look like anything. You know, sometimes we make a drawing and we want it to look like a fire truck or like a puppy dog. But when you look at abstract art, all we see are lines and colors and shapes. So today we're going to talk a lot about shapes. So let's look at our artwork and see what kind of shapes we can find. This painting was made by an artist named Will Henry Stevens. Will Henry Stevens was an American artist and he created lots of landscapes as well as abstract art, like the one we see here. This painting is called Abstract with Circles. So what shape do we see a lot of in this picture? The title already gave us a hint. We see lots and lots of circles. What else do you see in this painting? I see lots of wiggly squiggly lines. I also see so many different colors and other fun and interesting shapes. Now that we've gotten a chance to look at some art, how about we learn about more shapes with a storybook? The book we're reading today is Shape by Shape by Suze McDonald. Do you know what I am? I lived a long, long time ago. I had round eyes. What shape are round eyes? They're circles. Lots of sharp teeth. What shape are those? Triangles. A very wide mouth. That's called a crescent. A fierce glance. Those eyes now are semicircles. An oh so smooth head. And that's an oval. And many, many scales. What shape are those scales? Do you know? They're diamonds. Have you guessed? Hmm, I was the biggest dinosaur ever. Wow, what could that be? What is that called? A brachiosaurus. I hope you enjoyed that story. Did you guess that they were a bronchiosaurus? What a fun tale of shapes. Now how about we go and make some artwork with our own shapes? Let's go. Okay, so for our project today, we just need a few simple things. You'll need a piece of paper, something to color with, so you could have crayons or markers, whatever you like best. And for something extra, if you want to practice your cutting and gluing skills today, get some colorful sheets of paper to cut from, a glue stick, and of course a pair of scissors. But if you don't want to cut anything out today, you could just have the piece of paper and your things to color with. The way our project is going to work today is I'm going to give you a set of instructions, one step at a time, 
and you are going to draw them however you like. So is your artwork and my artwork going to look exactly the same? Probably not. So that's why I'm going to not show you my artwork until I'm completely finished. I want you to have the chance to make your abstract art look however you want it. Now remember that word I just used? Abstract art. Can we say that again together? Abstract art. Remember that means your artwork is just made of color, lines, and shapes. So there's no wrong way to do it. I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Our first direction is to draw a big circle. Now you could draw your circle up here, down here, in the middle, wherever you want it to go. So pick a color, whatever color you want to use first. I think I'm going to start with purple. Now, can you draw a tiny square? How many sides does a square have? It's got one, two, three, four. So make sure that your shape has four sides. And are we making it big or teeny tiny? So pick another color or use the same one. I need to pick a new color. Got my line. All right, are you ready to test out your cutting skills? Our next instruction is to cut out a triangle. And you can decide how big or small you want it to be. Now remember, if you don't have scissors today, you can always just draw your triangle on the paper instead. That is totally okay too. Now a triangle, how many sides does that have? Hold my scissors carefully with one hand, hold my paper with the other, cut one, two, and my third side is already there for me. See, there's my triangle. Now I'm going to take my glue stick and open it up, and I'm going to put glue in a little circle on my paper, right here. You would leave yours flat on the table. Make a little circle of glue, and now my triangle will just stick right there. Press it down. Okay, now when you're ready, here is our next instruction. I know we're talking a lot about shape today, but I want us to put a little bit of lines into our paper. So we are going to draw three straight lines. And you can put them wherever you want. I'm going to open up my next color. Three. Now that I've drawn my straight lines, I'm going to draw some wiggly ones. For this instruction, I want you to draw two wiggly lines. The wiggly line goes like this, right? One and two. For our next step, we're going to cut out any shape that we want. So you can make a square, a triangle, a blobby, wiggly, weird, silly shape. It's up to you. So again, I'm just gonna hold my paper in one hand. I'm gonna make a blobby shape. I'm not worrying too much about what it looks like. Open that glue, do a circle on the paper, and then press it down. Now that all of our drawing and cutting and gluing is finished, it's time to just color. Since we've done all of our steps for today, I thought you might want to see how I color mine, but yours can be completely different. 
How does my abstract art compare to yours? What about them is the same and what about them is different? Let's think about those questions while we color. I hope that you had as much fun making your abstract art as I did today. Thank you so much for making with me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. If you're proud of what you made today, you can share it with us using the hashtag Dixon at home or discover the Dixon. We would love to see what you created.